Denmark to build First Energy Eiwen. If $34 billion in capital investment would provide for the energy needs of 6 million people almost pollutant-free, would you do it? Denmark did. It might not look like it, but this is the biggest construction project in the history of this country. Instead of investing money in a new airport or city, Denmark decided to make the world's first energy island. Today, we will talk about Denmark's first energy island, where it's located, what it looks like, and how it works. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and press the notification button to never miss more videos like this. And when it's all done, let's get started. Denmark has a long history of exploiting the strong winds from the sea to produce electricity. Danish people constructed the world's first offshore wind farm in 1991, and now they want to build an island on that legacy. Do you know why they will install wind turbines in the sea instead of on the coast? Well, there are bigger and stronger winds at sea, which especially affects the creation of more energy. Now, only one question remains. Do you know what that energy island is? Today, we harness the energy from strong ocean winds via isolated offshore farms that supply electricity directly to the Danish electricity grid. With this energy island, the wind turbines can be placed further away from the coast and distribute the power they generate between several countries more efficiently. The island serves as hubs, or green power plants, that gather electricity from surrounding offshore wind farms and distribute it to the electricity grid in Denmark, as well as directly to other countries, giving households and businesses access to this green electricity. The island will be located in the North Sea, about 80 kilometers from the shore of the Jutland Peninsula. The world's first energy island will be as big as 18 football pitches, but there is a hope to make it three times that size. It will serve as a hub for 200 giant offshore wind turbines. The hub will have an initial capacity of three gigawatts offshore wind energy, and when fully implemented, the capacity can be scaled to 10 gigawatts, powering 10 million households. The island will house electrotechnical facilities for routing electricity from the wind turbines into the electricity grid, and potentially also harbor and service facilities for the first three gigawatts of offshore wind farms in the North Sea. The wind turbines that will supply power to the island are expected to be larger than current offshore wind turbines. The current wind turbines are huge compared to man. Imagine how big the new wind turbines will be. Like a giant, right? Although so large, the turbines will not be able to be seen from the island. You will only be able to see them if you fly over the North Sea. Unfortunately, this island will not be 100% owned by the Danish state, and the state will share ownership with the private sector. However, the Danish state will be the majority owner and will own at least 50.1% of the island. Since Denmark will produce too much energy for itself with the help of this island, it will give part of it to the surrounding countries. Efforts to establish connections to foreign grids are already underway. Denmark has entered into political agreements with several of its neighbors to commence joint analytical efforts to connect the energy island to their grids. The countries it is currently negotiating with are Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands. But above all, Denmark indeed decided to make this island for another reason, and that is the oil. Denmark is the European Union's largest oil-producing country, which might make you think that this island will be some sort of oil extraction project. But this island is in a sense the exact opposite of that, as they will be an essential step in removing Denmark's oil production entirely. This country recently put an end date to their oil production in the North and Baltic Seas, which is 2050, meaning that Denmark has to find other ways to cover their energy needs. So Denmark plans to harness the energy of another valuable resource that is also found in the North Sea that has nothing to do with oil, natural gas, or fossil fuels. This resource is the wind. So since this country already has a lot of experience on how to use the wind, it only facilitates the process of making this island and even bigger wind turbine farms. So, on the surface, this seems like an awesome project 
and it shows Denmark's forward-looking perspective when it comes to sustainability, which is great. But there's one thing about this project that is not so great, and that is the timeline. You see, this energy island is set to be completed in 2030, which is relatively normal when it comes to projects of this size partially funded by the government. But it's still a long time to wait, because once it's completed, it will become a net positive not only to the Danes, but also the Europeans. But at least it's a step in the right direction. Although, what if I told you that the island we have been talking about so far could very well be nothing more than just the beginning? Denmark has better places to put islands like this, and those places are the Faroe Islands and Greenland. You see, Greenland and Faroe Islands are perfectly positioned to take advantage of the Arctic shipping routes. This includes the Northeast Passage, the Northwest Passage, and the Transpolar Sea Route. Now, these shipping routes are currently not accessible year-round, but the use has been slowly melting away over the past decades, and certain projections indicate that in the year 2030, the Transpolar Sea, which is currently only ice-free for a few days of the year, could become ice-free for a whole month. This alone opens up entirely new possibilities for global trade. But even if Denmark only builds wind farms in the North and maybe the Baltic Sea, it's still great to see a country making strides to become carbon neutral and to help neighboring countries do the same. So what do you say about Denmark's idea of how to get that energy in a new way? Do you believe they will make this island? Please tell us in the comments. We would love to hear your opinion. If you like the video and are interested in more topics, smash the like and turn on the notifications so you never miss the next video. Hope you enjoyed the video and meet you soon.